Hey everyone, wanted to quickly add in a new exercise on top of what we did last week for increasing our mobility in our wrist. A common, common joint I see that's limited in a lot of folks, especially when we're trying to do stuff on the ground, push-ups, yoga, even getting up and off the ground, we tend to feel some pain on the top of that wrist. So just a quick uh, recap of last week, test, retest. So we wanna check where we're at currently our active range of motion compared to our passive range, which would be adding flexibility. So we wanna start out with a little bit of flexibility and stretching. So we wanna hold the stretch to increase our active range of motion for 90 seconds, if not more. If you got really stubborn wrist, go longer. Hanging out a little bit longer will allow more room, a little bit more range of motion, which we can then actively try to get with our isometrics. So we'll hang out there, 90 seconds or above, that'll give you a little bit more active range. From there, we wanna capture that active range with our isometrics. Last week, I showed you pushing into the hand and then pulling off. I just wanna show you just, you can do that, that you can do it on the table or a hard surface so then you're not using just your hand and it's not gonna go anywhere. So if we, what we do is put our hand down and we would find that end range of motion where we stretch to and that's where we wanna work. And again, we're gonna work 10 seconds down 10 seconds pulling our hand off. So about 30, 40% effort of trying to gas pedal down, pushing into the table, engaging all the stuff away from the stretch. And then for 10 seconds, we're gonna to try to pull it off the table or pull that palm up to our shoulder. And that's the, that's the good stuff there. That's where we're working actively to get that range of motion. Now go through that four or five sets and then we're gonna add a new exercise. I want you to finish it by saving your work by doing a little bit of a circle. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna take your wrist and you're gonna take it through its greatest range of motion actively. So we're actively gonna go through all that range of motion, which will help lock in that new range of motion that we got through our isometrics. And I want you to think like you've got a parking brake on, you're going through nice and slow, so it's very, 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 challenging but you're giving your body the opportunity to find all those outer ranges of that whole wrist and its mobility three four five each direction that'll help save all that work then you can go ahead and do your test retest see if you're able to gain a little bit more range of motion as i said in the email the, the wrists are really sticky they're really stubborn and it can be super challenging but over time, if you consistently do this, you will reap the rewards and you'll be able to put those hands down flat on the ground without any of that pain. Give it a shot, let me know if you have any questions. Hope to see you all real soon.